Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will discuss the AI builder capabilities to analyze sentiments from email and then posting those sentiments to the recipient's team as an adaptive card. So let's move to the agenda first. In today's video, we will be discussing about what is AI builder. What are the available actions for AI Builder in Microsoft Flow? And at the end, I will show you the demo that how we can use AI Builder actions in Flow to achieve this automation. So what is AI Builder? So AI Builder basically enables your business to use intelligence to automate processes. AI Builder provides capability to create custom models or train the model according to your business need. And as we all know, AI Builder is also one of the Microsoft Power Platform capability that provides AI model that are designed to optimize your business processes. So let's check it out. What are the available actions that are available with Microsoft Flow that have AI Builder capabilities to analyze sentiments? So here are the two available actions that are available in Microsoft Flow. The first action is, is analyze positive or negative sentiments in text. So with the help of this action, we can analyze the sentiments uh, from the text, whether they are positive, negative or neutral. So for using this action, we need to pass the language and the text. This text is basically the email text. Second action will basically uh, analyze the input language in text. So for this, in case we need to detect the language being used in our text, so we need to only pass uh, the text, email text to this uh, action and this will basically return the language used within this email text. So let's quickly move to the demo part for the same. So let me just give you the brief of this brief overview of this flow. So in this flow, uh, this flow will basically trigger when an email is received from specific sender, you can say. And uh, then uh, this flow will basically read and convert email body from HTML to text. Then it will detect the language being used in the text. Then it will analyze the sentiments in the text. And then finally, after an analysis has been done, then it will finally send the sentiments to the recipient team as an adaptive card. So let's discuss uh, these actions and trigger one by one. So this is the trigger part that this flow will basically trigger when whenever a new email arrives. Okay, so whenever a new email arrives to your inbox, and then uh, it will basically read this email and convert the HTML to the text. So this is again an action which is used that convert HTML to text. So we need to pass the email body uh, to this action and it will return, it will read the HTML from this email body and it will return the text. Then what I have done, I have, I have used few variables. We have as, and assigned them types and I've used it in later phases of the flow. The first variable is language. It's of string type. Second variable is email content short. It's of string type. Third variable is line break. Fourth is text sentiments. And then what I have done, I have added one action to detect the language being used in the text. So you can easily add this action. You can go to add action. And you can type in detect language. So uh, under AI Builder, you can find this action detect language. 
being used in the text and you can double click and add this action to your flow so once you add this action uh, this action will uh, prompt you to add text so you need to add the text this text is basically the email text so we will pass the email text to uh, this action and this action will detect the language that is being used in this text then uh, we are basically uh, setting the results uh, that we are getting from this detect the language being used in the text and setting this value in a, a variable called as language and then what we have done then we have added another trigger to it that will analyze the uh, analyze that whether the whether, whether the sentiments are positive or negative from the above text so you can easily add this action by clicking on add action and again click on ai builder and then uh, it's the first action analyze positive or negative sentiments in text you can just double click and add this action in this action we need to pass the language so you have already set the language here in this variable so you can pass this variable here and text and as language you have already set the text also so you can pass the text variable here this will analyze uh, the sentiments from the text and uh, it will return you whether it is a positive sentiment a negative sentiment or a neutral sentiment and the output you can capture like this so for, uh, you can capture this output and let me show you the expression for the same so this is the complete expression in which this will basically uh, return whether it is a positive negative or a neutral sentiment and uh, we will pass this value of this text sentiment and post this value to the channel of the recipient so like this we have uh, added one uh, action post adaptive card in a chat or channel and i have added the recipient's name and i have added the subject from and the text sentiments so once you execute this complete flow, it will look like this. Let me show you. I will show you one of the instance that I already ran. So whenever an email is received or arrives, okay, uh, this, this flow will trigger. And this is the text body and this text body uh, it's in html form uh, so with the help of this action we have converted this text from html to text so uh, this is the text outstanding performance this month with a smiley congratulations for your new role then we as, as i've already discussed we have initialized few, few variables then we have passed this text body to detect the language being used so the output is English. Then we have set this language in a variable. Then we have added analyze positive or negative sentiments. So we have passed this body outstanding performance. This action will analyze whether the sentiments are positive or negative in this email. And then we have set this sentiment value to a variable. And then we have posted this sentiments in a form of an adaptive card to the recipient. So this is the complete flow. And uh, at the end, it will send the sentiments in this form. Uh, let me show you an example of that adaptive card. So this is the card that I have received. So important email monthly review from rtiagi at live.com. A positive sentiment is there. Okay, and last time it was a neutral sentiment. And this is the text, outstanding performance for the month. Thanks, Akshay. So uh, this is the complete process wherein I have used this AI builder capabilities uh, to 
perform this complete automation. So thank you guys for watching this video. In case you like this video, do like, share and subscribe.